Hey guys, what's going on? My name's Relentless and if you're new here, be sure to smack that subscribe button. Also, make sure to leave me a like and a comment down below because I love to read your comments and I love to reply. But moving on into my topic of discussion is the recently seen Microsoft press conference at E3. We now know a prize for the Xbox One. We also know a bunch of games and there's some other information about the 360 as well. But moving on into it slowly. So, May 21st, 2013, we saw the reveal for the Xbox One. Some of the speculations were, how much is this console going to be? What kind of games are we going to see? Because they didn't show us that many stuff. They just spoke about the console. They spoke a lot more about the TV functions and the new Kinect that's built in with this. But they didn't give us the information us as gamers wanted to know. But now we have it thanks to E3 and thanks to Microsoft yet again. As I said, we now know the price of the Xbox One. And it's starting at 500 US dollars. And that's £429 here in the UK. I'm pretty stoked about the price. I think that's a fair price. I don't know what you guys think of that. So be sure to write that down in the comment section. But for the technology that they've put into this console. I think that is honestly fair. We also know a release date. Well not really a release date. A release month. We know that it's going to be November 2013. What day exactly we don't know. My speculations are that it will be released the same time as Call of Duty Ghost. Thinking about if that is released with Call of Duty Ghost on the same date. The midnight launch queues out in London. Out in America. Out everywhere in the world are going to be completely cram packed. Which is going to be more manic for the workers there. But I'm really looking forward to this. Some of the other stuff that um, I've been really, really looking forward to is the Xbox Live Gold members, uh, new and old, get two free games. This is uh, two free games till the next gen console. I don't know if it's going to continue when the Xbox One is released, but it's something pretty awesome. I know for a fact that Fable 3 was uh, for free at the moment. I went ahead and downloaded it. I'm pretty stoked about it. I love Fable. It's a, a great series. One of the things that was upsetting us was are they going to show us anything about a new fable is there going to be a fable 4 or is there going to be a remake of the original fable for the xbox one we haven't seen anything of that yet we don't know anything about that we have to wait and find out but it's all part of the fun it's all part of being a gamer you've got to find out stuff slowly and it's just going to be you know pretty awesome i'm really excited about this i'm really stoked about this some of the other things that we've seen, as I said, was the 360 console. They have done a redesign of the console. It's actually available now on sale. Um, I'm not sure. I've looked on game website. I don't know. They haven't got any pictures of it. They've got nothing on there on their website. I don't know if there's anything on the American websites of this new console, the redesign, which is apparently available now, and how much that console is going to be. But from what we know is they redesigned it on the way that the Xbox One is, with a slight silk... Uh, glossy finish and then a matte black finish on the opposite side it looks pretty nice there is a picture that I'll show you guys at the end but you know I'm not really concerned about a new Xbox 360 I have the Xbox 360 slim I'm pretty happy about it it works fine I play my games I do all that amazing stuff but for the people that are excited about maybe getting another redesigned console to get a feel for what the Xbox one will look like go ahead and buy this console the new Xbox 360 some of the other things that we've seen, guys, is World of Tanks, which is a massively online uh, PC online game, uh, free to play, will be coming to Xbox exclusive uh, on the 360 this coming this summer. We don't know exactly what date, they haven't said, but World of Tanks is a pretty awesome game. I had a chance to play it on the PC back at, uh, back at uh, Eurogamer back in 2012, so, uh, sorry, no, 2011. So it's a great game. I actually have a t-shirt of the game as well. But I'm, I'm not really looking forward to it. It's not something I'm into. The, I don't know how it's going to run. I might do a video and test it out a bit. It might be different because obviously you're using a controller and not a keyboard. But we're going to have to wait and see. Uh, some of the other stuff that are built in with this Xbox One console. The in-game DVR. Being able to share your stuff. And also the partnership with Twitch. People are saying why didn't... Um, why didn't obviously Sony get this partnership with Twitch and they went ahead with Ustream? But pretty much Ustream and all that stuff kind of they all partnered together with Twitch as well. But Twitch is more of the gamers thing, and we know a reason why is obviously because of the partnership with the Xbox One with Microsoft and Twitch. Uh, being able to share your things, you can actually uh, use the whole new Snap Vision thing that they've got on the Xbox One to be able to see all these uh, comments and all your comments that are coming through, be able to change the title there and then, a lot of stuff that are there, but we, we're going to find out more about it and how that's going to work nearer to the time. But moving on into the games, this is what you guys want to know. Exclusive games, 
going as Dead Dead Rising 3. I know a lot of people are happy about this. It's an open world. It's changed so much. It looks so sweet. It's probably the first Dead Rising game I will buy. I'm excited about that. A new Halo game is coming as well. We don't know what it's going to be called. If it's Halo 2014, people are saying. Or if it's just going to be Halo. We saw that amazing trailer of um, of basically a guy in a cloak in the desert. This alien robotic thing appears out of the ground. And then it's Master Chief there. That really stoked me. The moment I saw the arm pop out, I knew this is Master Chief without the head. But then we saw the helmet. And I'm really excited about that. Falls of Five, obviously, we know it looks pretty sweet. It looks amazing. A game that's coming back for a lot of the fighting game fans is Killer Instinct. I'm not really a massive fighting game person, but that looks pretty cool. I will probably be getting that. Uh, Sunset Overdrive, that looks pretty sweet. It reminds me a lot of Jet Set Radio. Um, if you guys have ever played that game, it's pretty awesome. But it's not in Jet Set Radio, it wasn't really to be done with killing monsters and stuff. But the way it's set out, the way the visuals look, the graphics on the game, the art on the game, it does remind me of that. Some of the other stuff that really unshot and um, showed us more information about was Quantum Break. We saw a little bit more of the game. They spoke a little bit more of the game. And that looks actually starting to look to me more of a great game that I would love to go ahead and buy, play. We also saw Crimson Dragon, something that was speculated for a while back. A lot of people are excited about that. And also The Witcher 3 exclusive to i'm not sure if that's exclusive to xbox free uh to xbox one but the witcher 3 is also coming which looks pretty awesome some of the other stuff that we saw was battlefield 4 dlc the first dlc second assault will be coming to xbox one first which is pretty awesome i'm really excited about that i love when xbox members get stuff first I'm not a piss take of the playstation people but it's just the way it is and i love that but one of the games that really kind of surprised me something that looks so cool and I really can't wait for this, is Project Spark. Well, it's called Project Spark at the moment. They might change the name. But what we know is, is you create this world, and basically what you do is you can share it with your friends. They get a chance to play it. They get a chance to have a feel for it. And you can play your, your friends' games as well, which is pretty cool. But the highlight for me was probably two games there. was Rise, Son of Rome. That game looks amazing. I can't wait it. I love these kind of old um, ancient war games fighting games well not really a fighting game, but the war games and it looks pretty sweet i'm really excited about that i'm really stoked about that but most of all i'm excited for titanfall this game looks amazing seriously one of my highlights of the whole of e3 is probably probably the most amazing looking game ever i really can't wait to get it i know now that my brother's more coming onto the side of getting another getting the xbox one he will be getting this game and I, I know for a fact that I'll be bringing you guys tons of videos out of all these games. Rise, Son of Rome, uh, Dead Rising, Halo, Titanfall, um, Project Spark, maybe some Sunset Overdrive, Quantum Break and Crimson Dragon. Those kind of games I'm going to be bringing you guys tons of videos which is pretty amazing. Um, sorry, I'm really excited for this. I need to catch my breath. I'm talking so fast. But... Out of all these games that we've seen, out of what we've heard about the console, I'm really, really, I'm really excited for this console. I can't wait for it. Um, you know, I'm an Xbox fan through and through. People keep saying to me, oh, you're an idiot, yeah, you're an Xbox fan, that's why you're being like this. But you know what? I will be getting a PlayStation 4 nearer to the time. I don't know, like maybe next year. I, I, I can't, you know, waste so much more money. I know for a fact that I'm going to be trying to get a job at game as a Christmas temp and maybe if they have the hours I might get a full time job I don't know I'm hopefully going to be lucky enough but from what I've seen here with the Xbox One the price the games one of the other things I forgot to mention was Metal Gear Solid 5 um, that looks pretty awesome we saw it, was, it looked like a, it's an open world kind of version we saw this whole thing where you know you got a snake on a horse it, it kind of mixed up between you know the, the classic Metal Gear Solid with the stealth but also with a bit of Red Dead Redemption, which was pretty awesome. I'm really excited for that as well. Um, maybe, you know, it's it's going to be something completely different. But there's so much so much coming to this console that we've seen now. And there's still going to be more. And looking back from May 21st, uh, when they done the reveal uh, trailer, the reveal live stream. Everyone was upset. They said, oh, they didn't show us anything. Ha, ha, ha. Xbox sucks. Sony showed us tons of games. This is the reason why. E3 baby, I love Xbox and I love the games that they've got, 
I also look, I'm looking forward to seeing what else is going to be coming in the near future for this console. But thank you for listening, guys. As always, it is a pleasure. Be sure, like I said, to leave a comment down below. I love to read your comments. I love to reply to them. Leave a like as well. Also, subscribe if you're new. As always, it is a pleasure. My name's Relentless. I'll catch you guys later.